we want to talk about the issue of the planned hunger and hardship protests whether the protest is to be to be we want to hear what the people are saying and we have uh, a man in i think he's joining us by zoom good morning can you hear us good morning my name is Dixon. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Namdi Dixon Irebu, convener of Indigenous People of Nigeria. Indigenous yeah. People of Nigeria. I didn't say of any other thing. Indigenous I, People. Thank you so much for joining us. So, so we're asking you, this, you know, there's been agitation. People are hungry. There is high, intense hardship. As if it's something that was propagated and even dished to Nigerians. Do you think this protest will be? Hmm. Okay, first of all, be because indeed the hunger is real, the hardship is real. Uh, you know, if it was cooked somewhere and then dished to Nigerians, of course it was. On the night of May 2023, the president now, this morning then, uh, declared that very harsh, this very hardship and hunger today. And since that declaration, this land, this country has never remained there. And there is no end in sight. Um, while the president and the people around him keep telling Nigerians that, oh, give it some time and uh, something positive coming and all of that, tighten your belt. But living large, and um, one is wondering who is pulling who, going through this excruciating active hunger in the land, uh, country, it seems non challenged and unperturbed about the eyes of the people. So, uh, is it to be or not to be one legitimate and constitutional uh, right of Nigerians to protest and the land? We couldn't keep quiet and allow all of us to go, you know, finish before we speak up. You know, most times when people say Nigeria first, uh, you wonder, how do you mean Nigeria first? first? Or Nigeria first? And I think in this case, we put Nigerians first because it is Nigerians that are going through this hardship. Nigerian citizens first before the nation Nigeria will exist. We cannot say because, oh, that uh, there are certain things they want to do in the area, uh, they now ignore the cries of the Nigerian people. I think, and indeed, I personally, uh, I support the protest, of course, but peaceful. Because, yes, why we protest? We're not out, shouldn't be out to uh, burn down our country. All right, because in that Nigeria, when uh, the 2023 election that conducted and the announcement at 4 a.m. happened, if we didn't burn Nigeria, uh, all this while, we won't burn Nigeria now. We are just crying out hardship against the hunger. And this is not like a case of something being done, all right, to... Uh, possibly a middle rate of, uh, of, uh, of hunger in the land. There is nothing, and, and, and it's just proper that we go out and try that in, in case, as some have said, including Senator Ndume, some of them have said that the president seems to be isolated away from the reality in the land. And this protest is geared targeted at calling the attention of the president uh, to to know that the people he is leading that demanding his leadership, you know, uh, palatable at all. And indeed, the president, before he became president, has been known with protesting against the issues like this in the land. With, that within these 10 days of rage in the country, that he, the president, would yes, in one of the days. Because this is something that he has been very vocal about, that the people, in fact, one of the statements he made before he eventually took uh, the reign of power in Nigeria is that the, the poor on the land, that the poor should be able to breathe 
the president should now know, right, that the Nigerian people, not just the poor, the poor, the rich, everyone is fine. There is no bread in our lungs. The, the, the hardship in suffocation is important that we embark on this people project. Those who are saying because uh, uh, the issue of uh, violence and all of that, tell us, maybe they are the ones plotting or planning the, the violence. We are calling on what Nigerians are embarking upon is peaceful and nobody should uh, 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 twist it around. Except of we know by the history, we know the, the, the system uh, like that, that everybody is talking about. Ten days we were on the streets, in fact, twelve days, Nigerian people were on the streets across the nation. There was no violence, there was nothing like uh, uh, burning down the nation. The, anywhere they gathered, and they, they fed themselves, they organized themselves, they cleaned up the environment and all of it. Until the chief columnist, which happens to be the government, we now saw that good laws were released against Nigerian young people. Not just who, including the military and the police, was out there against uh, young people. But I think both the military and indeed the good laws, they are not feeling the pains now. I think they are not feeling the hunger now. Well, we want to please all the attention of the leadership of our country too is that this hunger, this hardship is real. The poor, the rich, everybody is not in Nigeria. And there is something. Uh, something drastic needs to be, needs to be done. And that government, you know, reverts to the issue of subsidy. Ask yourself, even while they say subsidy is gone, is subsidy really gone? Are they not still paying for subsidy? Because if the landing cost for fuel in Nigeria is some 1,000 naira, they're paying for less than 8,000. The difference, you know, uh, how much, who, who is paying that? All right. So, Indeed, we want all the attention of the president and even urge him to join this protest, to lead the protest, so that if it is those who are surrounded in this, that are the people responsible for this hardship in our country, then by the time there's a president protesting against what he's used to, which is the, the uh, bad government that we are now facing, maybe, maybe there'll be respite, you know, that by we do this. But it's important that this protest holds so that we pay attention of our, our politicians to the reality you know in the land uh, um all right how do you assess the government's response to this protest we've seen different moves different things that the government have done or still doing uh, invitation of traditional rulers speaking to youth organizations um, and several other things, really, um, that are spoken of. In fact, they've told Nigerians to just wait a bit. Uh, the government is just one year old plus, you know, just a few months uh, shy. So, don't you think that some of the things that are the response from the government, you know, measures with um, what globally happening across the board? Because hardship is not just happening, it cuts across. Uh, uh, quickly, the hardship is not just happening in Nigeria alone, but how it is inflicted. I just reminded us how this hardship was inflicted in our country. It was on the 29th of May 2023. And if the president is serious, it's not enough to use the same tax payout money to mobilize the week against a peaceful protest by citizens. It's not enough to say traditional rulers and groups, including Khan and all of them that are saying that, uh, that they are the protest. If they are not part of the protest, well, they were not abilities to part of it. If they are away from it, they were not abilities. They are not the ones. It is the Nigerian people that are convening, you know, this protest. It has nothing to do with those groups that the uh, president or the leadership of the country, you know, seem to be meeting with. For me, it is their usual game, all right? They are the money themselves, and a few group of people will come to the media and all the shenanigans that we play now that we're observing. The president is just one thing. 
and quickly so to revert, revert. Just cancel this statement you made about subsidy is gone. Revert and agree. That's just what we need to call the attention of, the, of, of Mr. President. Follow that very statement that was made on the 29th of May 2023 is collected. We may just begin the process of redeeming the already bad and shattered image of our country. Not all of those meetings. We still start clearly and empowering those who come and speak against a very Okay, Mr. Dixon, I, I think the network uh, is a bit uh, funny or crappy. But we understand from what you're saying that uh, the press protest has to be because uh, the reason for we are agitated and uh, the day of rage, you know, hasn't been served. You know, when you're talking reverting back to this, what what was better, reverting back to what, why people are agitated, why they called for the day of rage, you know, hasn't said it's just talks. So we are hoping that. We happen to hear from you. He asked, "How do you how you access um, what the government?" We are listening to them. I, I, have, I have clearly said that the approach of government playing to the gallery is the usual style of uh, gathering cronies and those who uh, can be bought. This is not about selecting a few people who can do the praise and. Uh, uh, as with Niger Nigerians against such a tide as they decide to not cry. The Nigerian people are daily beast by hardship and hunger. So those meetings, I think, is misplaced. The president should quickly address the nation. And if anything, if he's listening, of course, many, many of them who have said, oh, that the president is listening, president. If indeed he's listening, then the president should do the right thing. Like I said, what got us here? Is the state on the 29th of May of May 2023, when he said subsidy, which we actually know now that subsidy is not gone because the government is still paying for subsidy. Actually, through the back door, unfortunately. So who is fooling who here? Why you say subsidy is gone? You're still paying for it, and people are always projecting hardship in the land. No, that those meetings are irrelevant. The president has not embarked on the right, you know, taking the right step to call this uh, uh, would be protests. He hasn't taken the, the right step to, to stop it. The, the right to, to stop it would be collectively agreeing with the United people that some mistakes were made. He's not, he's not some superhuman that, that nobody, when the president was campaigning, now he didn't say he was that he was coming with it one. Nobody expected him to come with a magic one. But we expected that the students would have come. Alright. This was the same president who was the protest. Alright? When the president then, the then president of Nigeria, Good Club Jonathan, you know, uh, called for this same subsidy removal. Even with even even when he had, you know, cushioning uh, uh, programs like Duffy and all of that in place. This one, one year after, even all the problems made, you know, activated, none has been applied. Rather, we have seen the president embark on white elephant projects like the uh, uh, Calabar Highway, Coastal Highway, and all of that. So, projects that you ask me would never be completed, even if we give him eight years. That elephant project will not be completed. And then, 15 trillion naira. If that was plowed into fixing the roads, tackling insecurity in our land, and addressing the issues that have to with the, the parochial, what's uh, uh, it called now, nepotism that the government of the day as Buhari started, which then has continued and all of that. If government is sincere, we would know. But now, there's no sincerity. And so, the young people have a right. Because it's their future here that is being jeopardized. We have a right, right as citizens of our country to call the attention of our leaders to order, all right, so that they correct the uh, uh, nonsense that is happening in our country. I think there are other means of engagement rather than protests. The very recent protests we had 
dovetailed into chaos. I've already, I've, I've, I've already, excuse me, sir. I have already heard that it was it didn't just to fell into chaos. It wasn't by the organizers of that case. Twelve days is on record. Ensign happened for twelve days peacefully. Very bad in most organized moments of 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 uh, the citizens of Nigeria during those twelve days of Ensign. Before the thirteenth day, government, chief columnists now instigated the aspect that you are now referring to do with violence. So because they know how they do this, that is why they are trying you now when we are calling for peaceful protest. I tell the case and you are saying what other means should we, you know, use to call the attention of uh, the leadership you know to what is happening in our country. What other means that if we suggest one is by writing them is it by going to the media? By talking also? They are taking us for granted. You see, in democracy, the government ought to be afraid of people. But every government is doing. They have no feeling whatsoever, you know, to this Nigerian people. They are not afraid of the Nigerian people. They start Mr. To Dixon, that we are very confident. Yes, Mr. Please. Dixon, um, why do you? Think think that the press is invisible to the people you know we keep hearing of the ministers the senators are saying this the monarchs are saying this you know the president will come out to address the people why do you think that that's yeah, because been? he feels he feels because he feels he grabs this power and runs his policy that was what he used as his campaign policy he grabbed it and ran with no was anything he has even come out to tell everybody out there. He has brothers and blah, blah, blah. That it was his own personal money that he used to the, 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 the process that brought him to power. We know what, how he came to power. That's why I say to you, there is no value for the Nigerian people. The president is acting like he came home one day and told his family, his children, that there is hardship. Uh, we cannot be three times a day anymore. We we'll make time, so possibly even one. And then the, the kids agree, the family agrees. Okay, we understand that there is hardship, as you have rightly said, that there is hardship across. But we have seen this father when he's coming back home. He branches to a post restaurant, he enjoys the best of meal, the best of champagne, and all of that. He wipes, his, wipes his mouth and comes back home to. Continue to say to his children and his family that we need to tighten our belt. No, this president is not leading by example. It's just what he has known. If there is hardship, there are certain things the president should do that will call our attention to be the reality of hardship. What is the new, uh, new jet for the president? He is impacting on the so called uh, coastal highway, that's the one and all of that. What is the need in living large and all of that for telling the Nigerian people that they should tighten their belts? The president has to step away from the people because he grabbed power and ran with it. Especially with new shady in our land. But this country belongs to all of us. Okay? So while they are doing all of that, we have a constitutional right to hold our leader to account. Because if we all keep fighting, we all do that. Before we know it, and uh, they don't care. So uh, I hope I've answered you. The reason simply why the president has allowed his goodies, his surrogates, to come and be insulting the Nigerian, insulting our sensibilities and all of that, is because he believes that he grabbed her and he ran with it, and he could grab it and 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 hold it there. It's, uh, the, the okay, Mr. Irubu, of Mr. Irubu. Yeah. That is not going to be accepted Thank you for that at all. submission. But well, I would like to oh, ask you, as I'm asking you already, what would you think, what would you think is the likely uh, possible outcome of the protest? What do you think is the possible outcome of this protest? For us, for us as ordinary citizens of we are calling for to put Nigerians first. So what I think that will come out is that the Nigerian people 
will be put first when when government is take or putting its policies forward. The Nigerian people should be put first. Our aim that is what we want to achieve. We expect that within these ten days of rage, that the government of Nigeria will address and quickly so too the issues that you know have the issues that that, are, that is propelling this very and hunger in our country. And I have mentioned to one particular issue, which was the statement on the 29th of May, 2023. In fact, the that the government should do, the president should do, is apologize to the Nigerian people that has put us in this terrible state that we found ourselves. That very, very move is what we are looking for the government to look at and address. If well, like they have rightly said, they may probably, it's not, it's their usual way, but you see, there's a, somebody with their ground, they care for, we're already down with the president, and with some record that people have been killed just for protest, young people uh, were singing the national anthem, right? in the, from the, of course, at the state where the president comes from, in Lagos, at the, at the, making, chanting, singing the national anthem, waving the Nigerian flag, and they were gone down. We hope that this president, who claims to be a Democrat, who also has taken to the uh, old anthem, if he could revert this country to the old anthem, he can also revert himself to uh, 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 bring him back some. So it is the right of the Nigerian people to enjoy their welfare and security in their country. Mm -hmm. the country. In the new in the new uh, in the anthem we have now, there's a line and that we should build a nation where no man is oppressed. This God is not doing well in that direction. It's not enough to say we have to answer. Listen to the or read through those line by line, uh, read the uh, answer line and line by line by line and those, uh, those who engineered that answer had something in mind you know, in mind. I'm not just saying Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria without the Nigerian people. This is the time to put the Nigerians first of any other. Mazen Namdi, I mean, you you referred to 2023 as the year, May 29, 2023, as the year that the hardship started in Nigeria. Um, That's when it some was people would hardship. differ this very, very with very you. Hardship started. Hardship has always been in Nigeria. But this chronic yeah. one, this excruciating one that was now was activated on May 29 by the Well, I, you can now acknowledge that there was hardship even before you came on board. So it's not peculiar to this I have acknowledged that we wanted had we wanted had hardship, my brother. All right. But this yeah. one that we are facing with facing right now it, it's, it has never been it has yeah. never been but it is inevitable. So the if have you... never been this hopeless in the country. Yeah, if you look at the manifestos of the three presidential candidates, of course, yeah. Peter Obi, Atiku, and um, Tinubu, they all said out to remove subsidy. So the hardship was inevitable yeah, anyway. And there was no hard money left for them or maybe to save money in order to run the, co the, the, the country. As at that time, our debt to ratio was 97 to 100. So there was no way there was money that was going to be available if we... If we we didn't do what we needed to do at that time, we wouldn't have had money. Entry. So I'm, okay. I'm just wondering, isn't it inevitable if you had gone to the Peter Obi way, the hardship would have still been there, he would have removed the subsidy. I think we would have done this. So it is inevitable okay. that this hardship would come. I'm just thinking that, aren't we the reflection of the leadership have? People voted for him. No. And, and so, we we for do, the president, we, we allow we him respect, some time. Yeah. He has said, give him some to, you know, uh, help with this, these policies that he has put to cushion the effect of this particular hardship. Isn't it the right thing to we do, do to respect, give him the doubt? We, we do respect, sir. Um, why a few people may have aligned with uh, the government that run with it, uh, policy or approach of campaign and election president adopted during the campaign, uh, we know what played out. Yes, it has been con con concluded. It is given that election 
has concluded and the Supreme Court has ruled. So it's given. Because you would say, oh, Nigerian people voted. It's okay to say that because it has been concluded. You see, the issue that we are now addressing is one year, two, three months after this birth. What time? And you are a Nigerian first before being uh, the anchor of this show, right? You're a Nigerian first. And I know that, for that's why I said, it's not enough to say the poor should breathe. Both the poor and the rich. No. So one year plus after, there's nothing in place to show. There's no body language in place to show that there's any difference. You are trying to liken the other presidential candidates who said they were going to also do it. They, they, they didn't say, for instance, let me uh, stay with Pito B, who I supported. There was no way Pito B would have removed subsidy at the Eagle Square on that square in there would have been plans in place. Remember, they, they had gone press. Why did God had already removed subsidy as a matter of fact? He ended it and it was to start counting from May, from June. It was supposed to start counting from June. So that was to give the president, the incoming president, an opportunity and possibly decide whether he's going to go on with subsidy or not. But very president, whether it is by excitement that he decided that to make that statement or not, this president the arts and the system Thank of government is not in adding you know value to what you are saying. If people be where to be of Nigeria, we won't have this over bloated government Thank when we are saying that it's this yes. is an So the difference that we declared Mr. Nam Dixon, we really appreciate your input. We've been learning. And I know that Nigerians all over have actually been li listening. Beyond the world over has been listening to what you were saying. And I know it makes a lot of sense to a lot of people. So moving on, we appreciate this and your time with us. Um, right now, we and know I that also currently the time is yes. 6 minutes past 10 a.m. in Nigeria and in New York is five, 6 minutes past 5 a.m. In New York for London is 6 minutes past 10 a.m. In Tokyo, it's